Right, how are you lovely folks of YouTube? I thought it's better to do a little update video seeing as um, I haven't done one since I got the bike and I know a few people have been asking. Um, we're on... Uh, what was that? Getting a lot of reflection there but just over 2,300 kilometres. Uh, I might just write that up a bit quicker than I did on the last bike. In fact, actually I had my my second and third services uh, both in July because I managed to put that many miles on it in then uh, to be quite honest the reason why I haven't done many videos on it yet is because I've been too busy having fun on it <laughs> um, it's running well I um, haven't had any major issues to worry about at all um, a couple of weeks ago when we had the so many inches of rain in a couple of days and the thunderstorms my spark plug got wet uh, so I had to take all my fairings off and because to get to your spark plug you've got to take this fairing off um, from there and undo the belly pan and yeah, that's the only downside I would say against this or against my arrow it's a pain in your arse to get to everything um, but all that needed was WD and drying out and it was fine um, Mine and Niggle, and I know I'm probably going to get trolled like hell for this, because, but I really don't give a crap. A little bit of rust on my downpipe. Um, has had the ACF 50 treatment. It's not as bad as some others I've seen. In fact, Alex's is, 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 um, isn't amazing. But it is a known issue with these bikes, and Lexita have actually come up with... Uh, got a new stainless steel downpipe as a replacement. And retail price for that is £55 so I, I, that's something I'd recommend people if they haven't done all well, they haven't done it yet because no shipment's been delayed for it but when you get a chance if you, I'd ask your garage to get it replaced if you can because it, so it, is, it is a bit of an, you know, an issue but they have got a replacement for it available now um, trying to think of anything else. I say it's been running nicely. Uh, beginning of July, three of us are took mine, Alex's, and a friend of ours who also got himself a used XTRS for second hand. He's got over 7,000 kilometres on it. Oh, went had a nice little run up to Skegness. It was about somewhere between 130 and 140 mile round trip in, the, in that day. Um, you know what, these bikes loved it. Uh, I know some people are wary of pushing the engines but don't be it does some good um, I mean top speed I've had so well I don't the top speed but I've had indicated 65 miles an hour it's probably actual it's probably just a little bit over 60 but that's what I've had out of it so far it will go faster that's just um, that's just me uh, that's how I'm doing. Uh, shoulders still play it up now and then. I just have to have it injected again with steroids. Um, it did take about a good three or four weeks before I could go too far on the bike. I managed to go to my mum's and back in one day, um, which is about eight, nine miles from, it, from here. But it, it, it's mending. It's, it's, um, it's doing better than it has been. It's somewhat perfect, but it didn't stop me getting out over the bike while we had the really, really lovely weather. Had a nice, nice little ride around Buxton and Maple. I found the A6 is my new favourite road to go play on. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll say you can't really, I can't really fault anything with it to be honest. It's cheap and cheerful. Um, I've got some new panniers, well, second hand, but they only cost me 15 quid. Some Oxford Lifetime ones that some of my friends are not using. Uh, they're a godsend, especially when it comes to getting shopping and stuff. Uh, just trying to think. Ah, something else that came up um, warranty issues. Excuse that's diesel. Um, 
Yeah, I know if one of the things that's come up on the owner's page on Facebook is uh, warranties and obviously I know some people have had issues and have obviously claimed saying that it's not worth the paper they're written on. Nah, I would strongly recommend researching in, researching the dealer you're going to go to for it. Um, I can honestly say from our dealer we've had no problems. If anything's gone wrong, I mean Alex Alex had to have his front brake replaced and it was not an issue. There was no quibbling over, oh it's your fault because you've not done this and you've not had it serviced between X, Y and Z or you loosened this screw. It was a, it was simply no problem, we fixed it and, and they got it fixed. But I know some people have not had that sort of treatment so I would strongly recommend do your research. Uh, we go to MK Motors in Shirebrook and they've got a genuine interest in motorbikes and they'll bend over backwards to help you out. So, um, just it is worth find out what they find out who you're going to first because I know there are places that are after the money, uh, which sadly lets these bikes down because if you've not got good dealer support then you're not going to get the best out of it and also if they're not good de if it's not set up properly that's where some of the faults are also coming from it's not necessarily because of how the initial bill it's because of whether the dealers know what they're doing or not um, I think I claim my spider webs off I didn't ridden yesterday, I've got, a pet, I've got a pet spider hanging around somewhere. I was also going to change my light bulbs, but um, getting to the headlight assembly is pain in the backside because all this, all that had to come out, and by the time I got to it, I just couldn't bother. It, it, it's going to be one of those if it needs doing, I'll do it jobs. <laughs> so, um, Ah yes, the other thing I was going to mention is I did recently um, have had a go on a Suzuki GS500 at my local training school. Uh, looking to do my restricted access. Um, going for restricted because of my short arse and the, the restricted size bike was much more comfortable and felt easier to handle. Um, I could perhaps get an SV650 afterwards and have it lowered but it did feel very awkward. Um, sat on the Ninja 250 and that actually felt ideal because it just feels like a bigger 125 um, but I don't know when that will happen uh, I've got to get money saved up as I may have mentioned before priorities are saved for a mortgage so in the case of getting this back um, I'm going to get that license even if I can't afford the bike after oh, there we go alright thanks for listening to me ramble on and I'll catch you next time. Bye.